On the DVD you'll find included a GDL object created specifically for drawing surveyor's plans. It's called Create Boundary 8. I'll start with a PDF file. It could be scanned or a hard copy. Obviously this drawing has been drawn using surveys units and length in meters. And we're going to transcribe this into Archicad. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our project units are exactly the same as the surveys plans, which will be meters with two decimal points accuracy. So if I open the project preferences, I make sure that the working units and levels uh, model unit will be at meters with two decimal places of accuracy. That will allow me to put the information into the GDL object in exactly the same denominations that the surveyors did. If I check OK, I'm going to start by loading the object into the library. So I'm just going to go through the object tool from the dialog box and this is the create boundary library part. And we'll open it and we'll have a look at it. Let's have a look at the settings for it. Firstly, parameters. Over here, the orientation allows us to set the orientation of the site. The default setting is to Project North, which is actually connected to the Project North that's designated in ARCHICAD or arbitrary. I'm going to leave it on Project North. Construction mode, we're going to leave that on relative, which is correct rather than absolute. Absolute relates to the last point, not to zero, zero. And the 2D representation, I can just pick any sort of pen I like. I'll pick a red pen, pen 15. And dimensions, we want the dimensions shown on the boundaries. Under the next drop down menu, under create boundaries, we have 10 input fields that will help us define the length and the degrees of all the boundaries of our site. There's only 10 fields there. But most, in most cases, you won't have more than 10 sides anyway. 10 is quite a lot. And I'm just going to start inputting the boundaries of, off the PDF, which is just off the side of the screen. Keeping in mind, we've actually set our project preferences at meters, and the lengths should be inputted in meters as well. Another thing to remember, by using this GDL object, we would have to be inputting the information in an anti-clockwise method. So I'm just going to start with one of the lower points on the site. I'll start with this edge here and I'll go up around keep following that anti-clockwise method. So put the first one in 21.34 meters and the angle 285 degrees followed by a space followed by 41 which is minutes you don't have to put in the seconds but if you, if you wanted to you could push space and put the seconds in there if it was a curved edge we put the radius in there so I'll continue the next counterclockwise edge is 54.86 0.86 at an angle of 188 space 47. I've just skipped ahead here and input all the dimensions going around my site and the angles of course. Then I'm just going to click OK and insert the site and insert the site boundary into the drawing. Now the colour, as we mentioned, was in red. And you can see each one of the edges is actually correctly dimensioned. And, of course, the angle, including the minutes. As this GDL object has been created using the angles in relation to the project north. Let's just have a look if I change the project north with which is available from the 3D projection settings and under more sun we can see the project north is there. At the moment that's straight up which is at 90 degrees. If I change it to 45 degrees 
So the north is now on the diagonal on the screen. Push OK and redraw it. We can see that now the side is porting at 45 degrees to the north. So you can set your side up correctly and then later on you can just change your project north. The next step would be to create the site object by using these boundaries. And as these lines are actually part of a GDL object, ARCHICAD may not be able to trace may not be able to trace it automatically so we might have to click on the corners just to create the site object. One thing worth keeping in mind is that surveyors are rarely 100% spot on to the last millimetres purely because they only work in metres. So if you look at the last corner of the site which is meant to close you'll probably see that it overlaps just a little bit. But if I measure this it looks six millimeters and four millimeters out of whack so it really doesn't matter that's worth keeping in mind and it's worth noting that it's a common occurrence so if we're using the side object and if you zoom out ARCHICAD will attempt to snap to one of the it'll attempt to snap to one of the ends rather than the crosshair so we really have to zoom right in and have to start from there and then tracing around is quite simple after that and once again when we get to the last node make sure we get a black pencil and close the mesh properly so in actual fact I missed it so I have to delete the last segment and snap to the last point again so now we have the site drawn correctly and there it is in 3D so Take advantage of that special object that's on the DVD and it's just in the